Hello everybody and welcome to my newest video. For today's video I thought I would do the tattoo tag which was actually one of my first videos I ever filmed for YouTube but it doesn't exist anymore, it's on private and I plan on never watching that one again because it wasn't so good but the answers to the questions have changed so I thought I would film it again and that's what I'm doing right now so let's jump right into the question. First question is how many tattoos do you have? I honestly can't tell you because I've never counted my tattoos and I don't plan on doing it. Yeah, because I don't want to know and you should respect that decision. <laughs> the second question is what's your favorite tattoo? I think my favorite tattoo is the Stay Gold script and also the flowers I have on my stomach. I love the meaning behind those tattoos. I think I've talked about the Stay Gold script in my other tattoo related video. Maybe one day I will do a video about my stomach tattoo as well, but those are my two favorite tattoos. How old were you when you got your first tattoo? I was 20 years old. My first tattoo was the Tim Burton heart I have on my leg. It's from a poem called Voodoo Girl. I love the meaning behind that poem back then. A few of my friends gifted me the tattoo for my birthday. Yeah, um, that was my first tattoo. What do your parents think about your tattoos? And that's a very interesting question. Since I don't really know the answer myself, I'm just going to insert a clip because I asked my mother. That part is in Luxembourgish, so I will write subtitles so you can understand what she's saying. And I thought that was very funny because I honestly didn't know what my parents are thinking about them. So yeah. <laughs> and hello, what are you doing? Hello, mommy. Wait, I must not the loudspeaker on. Wir are going to turn the loudspeaker on. Wait, that's the thick mies and then here, that's your gun. No more schon technisch Probleme. Ah, ich meine, lo geht das. Oh je. Yeah. was prat? <laughs> ja, also, ich meine, lo de video und, ich, und geht im Tattooen. <laughs> and froh us, what my alteren uh, for my tattoos halen. <laughs> du der sind a base, and I see sensible. Yeah, with the pop, sing einfach das vielleicht nicht so leif wie denk hund ich gedöt. Ah, ja. I think tattoo is ganz schön. Aha. Ich fang da mal gemein, aber das ist toll. Ja, ja. Ich denk, sie wird's ins gut gemacht. Yeah, that's for Okay, danke schön. Tschüss. Ciao. The next question is, did you always have a love for tattoos? I think yes. I remember when I was younger, I always did some research on the bands I was listening to and some of the guys were tattooed and I always thought that was really cool. Then I also loved watching interviews about tattoos and I remember when the MySpace day started, I also had to look at the tattooed models because when I was younger, being tattooed was mostly a guy thing. I don't think I knew many tattooed women. So that's when that started for me. Yeah, then I just thought, well, those models look really cool and I would love to be tattooed as well. Question number six is, do you plan on getting more tattoos in the future? And that's a definite yes. I plan on finishing my arm because there are a few gaps on my arm. I want to get those filled up because that really bothers me. Since my favorite tattoo artist is in Cologne and I'm back home at the moment, I have to wait until uni starts again so I can go back to Cologne and get the tattoos I plan on getting. And I'm really, really excited about it because I really love that tattoo artist and I trust her completely. I always worry that when um, I tell another artist about my idea that they have a completely different vision but with the tattoo artist in Cologne I see the tattoo and I think yes that is exactly what I wanted I'm very excited to go back so she can tattoo me again I plan on getting a tattoo which reminds me of Cologne that will be one of the gap fillers for here I also want to get a plant related tattoo I discovered my love for plants in 2019 <sighs> Yeah, I'm going to insert a photo of the plant I want to get tattooed right here, so you have an idea. I don't really have my entire body planned out because I don't know how far I want to go with the tattooing. Because at first I just wanted to finish this arm, but now I started on getting 
uh, more tattoos on this arm I have this one and this one so maybe this one will be just black and grey I don't really know yet and for my legs one is really mixed styles and I don't really know what I want to go for on the other leg and for my stomach I have flowers but I also wanted to get my lower stomach tattooed but the idea I had really clashes with the flowers so I don't think I will do what I wanted to do. Yeah, I haven't really thought about that yet. Which tattoo was the most painful one? Definitely my stomach tattoo because I genuinely thought I would die and we had to do it in two sessions. One session for the outlines and one session for the coloring. Oh no, my battery is dying. <laughs> yeah, I really thought that was it because normally I can I can just take my mind off the pain but this time I really really couldn't I never want to feel that pain again but I also want to get the rest of my stomach tattooed so I don't really know what I want the next question is what was your least painful tattoo and I think the tattoos on my leg were not that painful but they are also smaller so maybe that's the reason yeah like the tattoos on the outside of the arm like here weren't so painful and here but this one was painful, but I don't think this one was painful either. And the last question, do you regret any of your tattoos? And yes, I do regret one tattoo, not the meaning behind it or anything, but the tattoo artist I chose. I was at a ladies tattoo convention and I thought the idea was really cool because there were only female tattoo artists and I love to support female tattoo artists. I had a look at that one artist's portfolio. There was this rose with a dagger through it and I love that idea. But she was really stressed out and I told her she could she could take a break, she, sh she should go eat something. She was tattooing me at about 6 p.m. I think, if I remember correctly. And she told me that she hadn't eaten yet. And I told her, well, I can wait 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, don't bother, just have something to eat because that's more important to me than getting tattooed straight away. And she told me, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. I'm going to tattoo you right now. And I thought, okay, well, she knows what she's doing. She tattooed me for 45 minutes, I think it took for her to tattoo this really large area of my body it healed really really roughly because I think um, she tattooed too deep at some points there were like gaps in the tattoo once uh, it healed <sighs> yeah I didn't really like how it turned out so I kind of regret that but there's nothing I can do about it that's okay I've accepted it but if I could go back knowing the result I would probably choose another artist. So this was already it for this video. I have the feeling that I could have talked a little bit more. My battery is dying and it's getting late which means it's getting dark which really bothers me when I'm editing when the background is like really dark. So I think it's better if we <sighs> stop this video now and maybe I am going to make another video on the tattoos I have and on the plants I have and if you have other questions or requests please leave them down below because at some point I'm going to run out of ideas and then I have to rely on you guys to um, to tell me what you want to see so thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time bye